This is the Pocket Monster Manual. I'm Wooly Chandler here with Animage. Disaster Day of Crisis Pokemon. Bram? Absolutely. Muggle? Originally intended to be released. Uh, I'm not doing it anymore. I, I was expecting someone to do the whole monologue. Specs. It's not a phase, Mom. And uh, we're talking about abs. Oh, I love abs. <laughs> yeah, this is the This one's good. Very good. Favorite Pokemon of all... Uh, this is your favorite? All, yeah, all bullied teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is like... I, I feel like this is like gotta be one of the most popular Pokemon out there, right? I see so many people who call Absol their favorite to this day. Yeah, this this thing got so much fucking fan art back in the day, back when these games yeah. were current. And yet, I don't see a lot of pornography of it. Well... Maybe you're just not looking hard enough. Maybe I'm not. When can we talk about Vaporeon again? Let's uh, never do that. Absol, the emo fringe Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> you really, uh, emo ref, emo ref right here. Absol is 4,000 entries in Rule 34, so... Okay, well, you've proved me wrong. Yeah, I have. Wait, what's what's Charizard got? All right, seven and a half thousand. Yeah, I mean that's that's not too bad. Well, he's he's been around for longer. Every time Absol appears before people, it is followed by a disaster such as an earthquake or a tidal wave. As a result, it became known as the disaster Pokemon. But does it cause the disasters, or does it warn people about them? Just Ooh. like Mothman. Just like Bruno from Encanto, ooh! We don't talk about him. Black and white to explicitly say that he's there to warn people about the yeah, disaster. Yeah. But since he appears before disasters, people associate the two, and uh, Absol is very unpopular as a result. And it's, it's misunderstood, man, which is why it's so <laughs> appealing to loser teens. Like I said. How do you think they like scientifically proved that Absol was trying to warn people rather than causing the disasters? That's a great question. Because it wasn't at every disaster. They probably got some Pokemon that can like understand speech. No, it wasn't there when the first tower fell, but it was there when the second one. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> the uh, the mystery dungeon uh, lines are pretty good. He's he, there to fight off natural disasters. It's very peppy. Also, cannot prevail against disasters. Was Absol born in a world of strife? No? Alright. Against the odds. We choose to fight. Bottom dance! Thank you, Specs. So it's got, it's got the yin-yang thing going on, obviously. Like, that's its, that's its thing, right? You know, I'd never thought that before, actually. Oh, shit, I did not notice that. But it doesn't have a white dot on its, uh, on its little sickle, so... Is it? And it's facing the wrong way. If it had, like, a beard for the sickle... I feel like it's a little bit more obvious with the Mega, which I guess we'll do later, yeah. but, like, it, it really... It feels very intentional. You know, I've never liked this Pokémon. I don't like how it looks. It just does nothing for me. I think he's cool, but he's not, like, one of my favorites. I think it's too cool. I think they designed this Pokemon Maybe. they were like, this one will be cool, and people will think it's cool, you know? It's the like, proto-Lucario. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, th yeah. I think it's like... I think this thing looks better than Lucario. No. I, I like this thing I like this thing more than, than Lucario, yeah. I agree. I, I still like Absol. I think the asymmetry really makes it stand out. Is this the Shadow the Hedgehog of totally. Pokemon? Yes. No, because yes. he's trying to stop disasters. Yeah, but, but Shadow has a heart of gold as well in the end, so... But he appeals to the same demographic, though. Also, fucking hell, that Mega, I can't get... No, I'm not going to discuss it yet. That Mega Absol is pretty bad. It gets an angel wings and an emo fringe. It's very deviant art. Very deeply deviant art. And like a, a batwing tail at the same time. Not good. Nah, yeah, this is, yeah, this is like if you were making a deviant art Pokemon comic and you drew Absol's mom or something. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Mommy Absol. Uh, I, I, what if it had one wing though, like Sephiroth? Oh god. Uh, it's not <laughs> it, far from it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get it that would be better. That would be better actually. <laughs> yeah, I want the one wing Absol. Absol! 
Um, anybody use this besides me? I have not. Uh, I've used Absol normally in Gen 3 before. Yeah, I've used it in Gen 6. If I wanted to use a Dark-type dog Pokemon, I'd use Umbreon. Have fun with your zero damage output. Yeah, it's, that's a very different thing. This guy gets Swords Dance, so if you can get it set up, you're all good. Ha! <laughs> You think I use sword <laughs> dance? I only use moves that do damage. Mitch, is that you? Plebeian. Barbarian. <laughs> I had a literal, like, like 30 minute argument with people about this over dinner once. And they were like, why yeah. not use attacking moves when you can... And they're, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> people, just, people just don't get it. They don't understand, man. You do sword dance, they can sweep. Quickly the tide turns. But I can sweep anyway. With a broom? I would play. I played versus with the kids at my middle school because uh, I had a link cable, and I would just destroy with Absol because nobody understood how setup works. And so I just did, if I got sword stance three times, it was over. So people stopped playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> you use sword stance three times in one match. What are you doing? That's three attacks you could have done. Yeah, the, the other kids were so bad at Pokemon that they didn't try to. They didn't beat me at that time. So how are they not killing Absol? Like Absol's so frail. I don't know. I don't know. I got away with it a lot. I shouldn't have. Also, it's uh, it's it's in its release gen. It's its stab moves are shit because it's running off of its special attack. It's not good. Oh, Dark was special attack. Yeah, was special it was. Back then, yeah, yeah. So you had to use like standard moves. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> As this whole time was Wooly setting up Sword Stance and using dark moves? I was probably using Slash. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> slash? That's a shit move. Why don't you it's use a good Hyper move. Beam? Why don't you use Cut? It could cut. Yeah, why not use. Cut? No, I should be using False Swipe instead. Yeah, False Swipe, yeah. It says in the trivia. Uh, what does it say in the trivia? Oh, it yeah. says that what you see on its back is not true wings. What is it? Just a bunch it's of hair? It's just fur. Yeah, it's just hair. And how does it stay up like that? Uh, it uses an, its aura to uh, make its fur bristles. Absol is the only non-legendary Pokemon featured on the box art of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Where the hell is it on the Wait, box what? art of Wait, where? Oh, there's the ground on a Kyogre. Probably on the back. It's on the back. On the back in the screenshots. Oh. But that doesn't make any sense, because it says it's the only non-legendary Pokemon featured on the box art. And I'm looking... I have a Pokemon Silver box art. I'm looking on the back, and there's a Pikachu there, and there's screenshots of Chikorita and R Rattata. Yeah, what about like Venusaur on like Leaf Green? Yeah, but it's specifically talking about Ruby and Sapphire. Oh, well, yeah, just dumb games. trivia fact. Yeah, yeah, that's a stupid trivia fact. Absol was the last answer to the Pokemon trainer's choice, but what was the question? <laughs> If you like penis, <laughs> as usual, I you get see. caught. If you're not in the yeah. York, if you have half a, if you like, if you like abs at midnight, love abs, lads. <laughs> <laughs>